Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Well, Boy Scouts will be busy bees this Saturday. They're going door to door to pick up food that you leave on the porch. The people who will benefit from these young do girders will be people who are hungry in our community. CJ Klug is a Boy Scout. He's with um, the Boy Scouts of America. And Gina Stiers here. She's with Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin. Hi, guys. Good morning. Hello. Nice to have you here this morning. I think this is fantastic. This is the Boy Scout food drive. This, is, I bet, isn't the first time you've participated in it. No, it's not. Yeah, because <laughs> participated in a lot of them. Yeah, because you're 13. Yeah. You've been in Boy Scouts since for eight years. Yeah. So as long as you can remember, your whole life, basically. <laughs> uh, what, what, what do you like about this drive in particular? This drive in particular, I like because it helps the people in the homeless shelters that can't be able to get the food and afford the food so that we can be able to get them fed. It's awesome. Yeah. And Gina, what are some of the items that we're actually looking for to be donated? Sure, there's a great example right here in front of us. You know, we're looking for those non-perishable food items, things that you have probably in your pantry at home or in your cupboards. We're looking for canned fruits and vegetables. Um, cereal and peanut butter are great items to give because you can eat cereal any time of the day and it makes a quick meal. Peanut butter, obviously high in protein for families that maybe aren't getting meat at the grocery store, it can kind of take that place. Um, but you know, macaroni and cheese, any of those items would be great to fill um, in this bag. This bag came out um, this weekend. CJ and all of his friends were out putting yeah. these door to door. I um, was impressed too because I had a bag on my door and it was kind of tied to my handle because it was kind of windy so I was like the Boy Scouts Smart. were doing a good job right. so that I didn't lose my bag. Well, we I know like that, that they're resourceful. Yes, we know you're mm -hmm. very resourceful. Um, and this food drive, I mean, we look at these pictures. I mean, over the years, how much food has been collected specifically related to this drive? Related to this drive since 1987, the Boy Scouts have done a lot of good work. They've collected over 3 million pounds of food for Feeding America. So wow. that deserves a huge round of applause. Um, we really appreciate the partnership. And I think that's what makes this particular food drive so unique, is that it really is a community-wide effort. You know, it starts with the Scouts. You know, they're doing good, as you know, across the community. Scouts like CJ um, and then it, it uh, trickles down to um, the people in the community, the seniors, the families, the neighbors that are just giving food and leaving it on their porch um, for people in need and that all benefits the food bank. And uh, then once the food is placed in the bag and the scouts pick it up, what do they do with it at that point? Do you want to talk about that a little bit, CJ, um, what that process is? Yes, when we pick up the food, we put it either in one of the trailers that um, one of the leaders have, and mm -hmm. then we go over to the farmer's market, and we box it all up and put, it all, put them all on pallets. So there's eight different collection points throughout um, Milwaukee County. And so he's talking about the West Dallas Farmer's Market. I'm yeah. typically there every year. It's quite an effort, and they do it outdoors. Some scout troops are fortunate enough to be indoors in Wauwatosa and Greendale. They usually um, pack all of that food and sort it for us. Um, so it's really like a built-in um, labor force. The scouts are there with their volunteer friends, and they're sorting it all for us. They're boxing it up at these eight different sites. And then um, Schneider Trucking is another great partner. They donate their services. And and their drivers come um, and literally truck the food back to the food bank for Feeding America. Well, I like how hands-on it is. I mean, mm -hmm. it puts you in touch with the reality that there are people right here in our community who don't mm -hmm. have enough to eat. And mm -hmm. I think that's what's so great about the fact that they pick it up, they mm -hmm. sort it, they do all of those things. And it's obviously a partnership that's making a difference. Are there a lot it of is. people who are hungry in our community? It is. You know, there are over 330,000 people that are struggling with hunger, and that's just in the eastern half of the state. 105,000 of those are kids. Um, and so, you're right, that's what makes this food drive unique, is that they could be helping their neighbor, the scouts, and not even know it. You know, hunger isn't something that people talk about um, freely. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it takes a lot of guts, if you will, to get up and go to a food pantry and stand and wait for a bag of food um, or to go to a meal program and bring your kids and get served a hot meal. You know, they're not uh, going to the grocery store as often as you and I are. And if they are, they're passing by some of these items that you might see in front of us um, or maybe even some of the produce and the meat items that are a little bit more expensive. So it's a great um, partnership on behalf of the Scouts. They're really doing a good deed. And for those of, those of us in the local area that maybe didn't get a bag on the door like Molly did mm -hmm. and we still want to donate, where can we get a bag or what kind of a bag can we use and how can we participate? Mm -hmm. 
Any bag works, right? <laughs> CJ, you don't have to use this one. Um, but this bag also came out in the Journal Sentinel uh, yesterday on Sunday. So if you are a Journal Sentinel subscriber, you got this in your paper yesterday. Um, and if the scouts for some reason don't get to your house, which they most likely will, you can drop off your bag at any pick and save store um, in the area. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is happening this Saturday, March 23rd. Mm -hmm. So leave your food on the doorstep in the bag that you received, mm -hmm. maybe in the paper, maybe that was delivered to you mm -hmm. but any bag will work and mm -hmm. I'm sure if it's filled with food and it's on your front porch you know to pick it up CJ. <laughs> the Boy Scout food drive again happening this Saturday March 23rd. Have that food outside and ready by 9 a.m. and you can contact Feeding America Eastern Wisconsin and find out more about them on their website. It's Feeding America WI.org, or you can call the phone number on your screen, which is 414 931 7400. I hope it's another successful effort. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you for having us. Absolutely. Thank Thanks, you. guys.